Hi, my name is Aaron Hurt, and I'm the Assistant Director of the International Programs and Services Office here at Pittsburgh State University. Today I'm excited for the opportunity to share with you um, some tips and some frequently asked questions that I receive um, from students. So um, we'll just go through some of these and I'm happy to share with you. My office is happy to help you with all of your application questions and, and anything of that sort. Uh, some of the questions that we receive are, you know, how do you pay your fees online? How do you complete your application? Um, any of those kind of questions can come directly to me and I will personally email you a response. We can help you with the time you apply to the time that you arrive to campus. So we help you with everything from your accommodations, um, if you want to live on campus or off campus. Um, we can help you with arranging your travel, your flights to Pitt State. Um, we will pick you up from the regional airport for free. So I'll help schedule and coordinate all those different details with you. Regarding your admission, um, we do require some documents from you. You'll work directly with the graduate school on your, the admission process. Um, but in general, some of the items that you'll need to complete are the online application, pay the application fee, um, you'll also need to submit, submit your academic records, um, bank statements showing one year of estimated expenses, um, a copy of your passport, and then we also do require the uh, IELTS or TOEFL. The next step in the process after you've been admitted to Pittsburgh State University is your visa process. So we will be sending you um, your official admission letter and the form I-20. That's the immigration document you'll need to take to the U.S. Embassy. Um, it'll take approximately you know, two or three days for us to issue your I-20 um, following your admission to the university. Uh, we do recommend that you pay for the uh, express mail fee option that costs $45 and we will send these documents to you priority um, and so you should receive them in about th uh, three to four days. Once you receive the documents from us, the I-20, you'll need to go online and pay the CVS fee to the uh, U.S. Department of Homeland Security and also make your visa appointment with the U.S. Embassy. You will need to apply for an F-1 student visa. And so once you get your visa, you will be on your way to Pitt State. Um, we have an awesome orientation program to welcome you once you arrive to the university. Um, we'll get you settled into your housing. We'll take great care of you. So, um, and throughout the semester, we have amazing events where you can share your culture, where you can learn about American culture. Um, everyone is just so warm and friendly here, and we're excited to have you on our campus. So. Um, with that, if you have any questions, feel free to contact me anytime. I'm happy to help you in any way I can. So again, welcome to Pitt State. I look forward to seeing you soon. And once a gorilla, always a gorilla.